Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. Portainer Business brings additional features usually required by organizations like quota management, identity and access management and others that I'm going to show you in this video. We'll start by showing how you can get a trial license key from our website. Then I'm going to show how to upgrade your Portainer instance from your community edition to the business edition on both Docker and Kubernetes. And finally, go through the additional features that come with the business edition. So let's start by opening the Portainer website. Here on our website, you will see a button that says trial Portainer business. So we can click on that and it'll take you to a form you can fill in with the information required to get a free trial that would be the amount of notes and just basic info like name company name phone number and um, where you're from so let me fill these in and click on submit you might get a capture and then you will get your uh, license key in your inbox in a matter of minutes and okay so here i am on my email client i open my inbox and see that i have received a license key from Potainer. this is a trial license key and with this, I can switch from Community Edition to Business Edition. And let's start by switching a Portainer instance running on Docker from Community to Business. So here I am logged in in my um, Community Edition instance. I'm going to switch this instance from um, Community Edition to Business Edition that we're going to the terminal window where this Portainer instance is running. I'm logged in as the super user root and I'm going to run three simple commands. First, you have to stop your current Portainer instance. You remove the image. This will not remove any of your settings or login information. Do not worry. And redeploy Docker, but this time with the latest business edition. You will notice in the end that the uh, image is different. Instead of CE, it's double E. And with some redeploying container, keeping my original configuration, but in with the business edition image. Okay, so let's go back to our browser window. I'm going to log out. Now I'm going to re-log in with the same credentials. But this time you see that I now have to put in here the license key in order to use this as a business edition. So I'm going to copy the license key and um, paste it here. And now the same instance um, is running the Portainer Business Edition. You can see down here on the footer that it reads Business Edition. Okay, let's do that with um, Kubernetes now. How do I switch from Community Edition to Business Edition on a Portainer instance running on Kubernetes? So here I have a machine that is uh, running a Kubernetes node with Portainer installed. Let me log in. And as you can see, it's this is running the Community Edition. Similar to the Docker switch, I'm going to do this in a Kubernetes uh, node. Same thing, I'm logged in the machine running the Kubernetes node with Portainer installed as the community edition but in this case i'm going to redeploy the same instance using the yaml manifest but picking the portainer business edition image so 
So you will see, for instance, if I run uctl get pod container, that it will terminate my previous community edition image and redeploy the business edition image. Let's give it some time. Okay, so now I'm running a new image of Portainer, and this image is the business edition image. Let's go back to our browser and now log out and log in. Okay, so to avoid um, conflicts with cookies, I'm going to open this instance on an incognito window. Try to log in. And you can see that just like in the um, Docker uh, case, I have to also add the license. This is because I switched from the community edition to the business edition. So for both Docker and Kubernetes, the procedure is quite simple and Kubernetes is even easier than in the um, Docker uh, redeployment. It's basically a one-liner for Kubernetes, whereas with Docker, you have to first stop the image, remove the image and redeploy Portainer with the new edition. Okay, so let's go over the features that you get uh, when you deploy business edition. So I'm going to go back to my previous uh, Portainer instance, where I'm now running a business edition. And um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is external authentication. So let me open an endpoint here, go to settings, authentication, and uh, maybe I want to compare this with in an instance that I have that is still running Community Edition. Okay, in this one, and run a side by side comparison. So, right here in settings authentication, you will see the first difference. Here I have the ability to use a Microsoft Active Directory. Um, that I can integrate with my Portainer Business Edition instance. Um, and I also have the ability to, in the open authentication option, use um, Microsoft, Google, and GitHub as uh, open authentication providers. Whereas in the Community Edition, uh, these are grayed out. You don't, you don't have this option. So that's the big first change. The other very interesting uh, feature that you have with the business edition is the ability to use um, in the role-based access control feature of Portainer um, roles for users. Um, you don't have this feature here in the community edition. You see when you click on roles, it says the feature is available in Portainer business edition only. And so you unlock this feature here on the business edition. Um, the third very interesting um, feature that you get with business edition is the ability to browse registries. So here, for instance, I have a registry that I can browse. Uh, this is a local registry or even a remote registry. That really doesn't matter. You have the ability to browse the registries. Um, whereas with the community edition, you have access to, or you can add registries, but you cannot browse them. And um, finally, when it comes to Kubernetes, um, you have some additional options that you can unlock with the business edition that you do not have with the community edition. Like for instance, when it comes to cluster setup, you can unlock the a security feature, which is restrict access to the default namespace that you do not have with the community edition. So here, when I go to cluster setup on the community edition, this feature is locked. Uh, the other feature that is locked in the community edition is the ability to manage resources. This feature uh, allows the resource over commit on your host or, or cluster. And as you know, this is quite dangerous because you might accidentally um, over commit and compromise your entire environment. Whereas in the business edition, 
you have the ability to manage the resources that you want to reserve for your system or for your for your environment and for instance in terms of resource pools another very interesting change with the business edition here is that when you add a resource pool you can manage quotas uh resource quotas that you cannot uh manage when you come to the community edition for instance load balancing quota and the um, storage quota are not available on the community edition and they're available here on the business edition and here are the additional features that you get with the business edition on pertainer so we basically saw how you can get your trial license key how you can switch your community edition pertainer instance to the business edition and the additional features that you get when you deploy business edition well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for our next how-to. Thank you very much.